Hello everybody, welcome back into the kitchen here at Clean Valley Farms where I am making yet another dip. You'd almost think I, I'm addicted to dips, but you know what? When it's just two of you in the house, it's a quick, easy meal that can take all night to cook and or all night to eat depending on what stage of laziness you're at. So it's perfect. So as you might have guessed from the title, tonight's dip is a bacon, spinach and mushroom dip. Let's, uh, well, let's just get started because I don't want to wait for this and neither do you, right? So let's go. Some nice looking bacon ends all cooked up there from the toaster oven. Gotta love these bacon ends. Oh yeah. A little bit of cream cheese. Some once frozen spinach, but I've thawed that out and drained the vast majority of the liquid from there. And, as you would have guessed, a bunch of mushrooms. So... And cut some of this stuff up and we'll get to putting it all together and you know all that cooking stuff well it looks like a nice pile of diced mushrooms don't know how many in there because i just cut until the furnace turned off and we're good to go good start good start next into that we're going to add our once frozen spinach doesn't look too appealing after being thawed but it'll be great by the time it gets cooked can't wait till fresh spinach is in season. Then next it's time to cut up our bacon nice and small. This one's a bit of a trick so I gotta wash my hands between doing that and picking up the camera again so not all of this bacon might live till that point. Anyway, in theory we'll get back to you in a second. Alright so with the vast majority of the bacon cut up and going into the dip, there were sacrifices made but it's all good. We are just about ready to start mixing this up. Alright, so I've put a little bit of dried diced garlic up in there and just getting a little bit of my powdered pain. For those of you who are new to the channel, powdered pain is basically a collection of my hot peppers dried and stored for use in almost everything I cook. One full block of cream cheese later. Just gonna mix this up here really quickly. Now I remember why I like that white bowl, it's just a little bit deeper. I'm going to mix this up off camera because nobody wants to listen to an egg beater go. Now before I pat this into my pie plate and add some cheese to the top, I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan in there. We're going to mix that through for one last beat around the bowl as it were. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Just going to need a little bit of shredded mozza for on top of that. Maybe some panico crumbs and then into the toaster oven at 350 she goes. Alright, well I was just going to go with the mozzarella on top of this, but everything's better with cheddar, so we're going to put some of that on here too. Sprinkle it fairly evenly. Doo -doo -doo. Add the cheddar. See, that even looks better. Mm -hmm. And then, just got a little bit of panko crumbs here and a little side dish, going to sprinkle them out and into the toaster oven for this we're probably going to go with um, oh, I don't know half an hour at 350 first and we'll check back on it along the way so here we are just past the 30 minute mark and I think I'm going to let that cook for another probably 10 to 15 minutes Let's go with 15 minutes at 350 before we crank it up to 400. So here we are at 45 minutes after baking in the toaster oven. Starting to get those telltale bubbles around the edge. I'm thinking that's good. We're going to crank it up to 400 for... What do you say? I'm thinking 15 minutes sounds good. Alright, finish that off with the 15 minutes at 400 and that is looking so tasty gonna let that cool on the counter and it's dinner time I like that oh how does that look delicious got some triscuits set up here shocks has arrived just in time to do some camera work let's find out how this tastes let's take a look at what this uh, baked up to be shall we it's looking like it's maybe a spoon on kind of dip again but gotta love a nice sturdy triscuit Pretty, pretty tasty looking, nice and green. Then of course there's the, uh, well how do you know it's edible if you won't eat it? So I'll eat it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Bacon, mushroom, and spinach dip is a go. I strongly recommend giving this one a try if you're interested in a dip dinner or just something 
different to nibble on with the game or whatnot. You don't even have to have a game going. I suppose you could watch. Well, I've got Surf's Up going on the computer right now, so watch whatever you want. But it's delicious, and that's really what matters here. So I'm going to get to my dinner, back to my movie, and then I'll post this for you guys in a little bit. I will, uh, I don't know. Find something else I can dip. I was thinking about a pizza dip and then this lasagna dip kind of wandered across my Facebook feed. So let me down, know down below if you think I should give that lasagna dip a try. Seems pretty straightforward. Looks pretty delicious and making dips out of everything else. So why not? Oh yeah, we're also possibly thinking about it like a chicken cordon bleu dip. That would be good. That would be good. All right, everybody. My dinner's getting cold. I am going to see you later. Have a great night.